finish up your image and then save it. So I'm working in um, Photoshop, obviously, and um, I've got my layers all on one layer like that. I, I had some other ones that I'm not going to use. And what I'm going to do now is add a background. So to do that, let me show you how quickly you can get that done. So if I'm working on this layer that has all the shapes, and I make a new layer by clicking on this button, and then I bring that layer down below my shapes. So you see it's, it's blank, but it's below the shapes. And then all I have to do, so easy, is I go to my gradient tool. And what's cool about this is whatever two colors I have down here are going to show up up here. So in other words, I currently have purple to black. And if I change this, watch, I'll make this, I don't know, uh, red to, or purple to, let's make this color, <laughs> so many choices, so little time. I don't know, so this color. See how my gradient changes. So now if I just click and drag, or just mouse down and drag, and depending on the angle I choose, right, I can make my gradient go wherever I want to. And then if I want to just do something extra here, check this out. I don't have to do this, but it's kind of cool. I can click on this layer right here that has all my shapes. And then I think I'm going to add a, um, a shadow. Let's see. I'll add an outer glow. Look at that. Pretty cool. And if I double click on the outer glow, I can um, change its effects. And also if I want um, like a drop shadow, so it looks like it's three dimensional. And again, if I double click there, this comes up and I can modify that. So if I want it to be a little bit closer, see how that kind of just looks like paper now. And that's the bell. Okay, so save this, um, save as, and pay attention to where you're saving it. I think I'm gonna save mine on my desktop and I'm gonna call it last name and I'm gonna call it layers. And when I save it, I don't wanna save it as a PSD to turn it in. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. So make sure that says JPEG right there. Do not type in JPEG because then it won't work. It has to be physically selected as a JPEG. So I hit desktop, save, OK. And last step I'm going to do is if I go back to, and I've got so many things open here. So I'll go back to the calendar. Um, here we are. And if I go to our Google Drive folder, I'm going to create this right now for us. <laughs> So watch this, and I'm going to go uh, up here, new folder, call it layers, create. And so in our folder is something called layers right there, easy. So if I double click, see, I'm in our specific class folder. So, um, and then I'm going to look at my very messy desktop here and see if I can find the image. And <laughs> it's here, it's just hiding over there. So there it is. So see? Silver Layers JPEG, and I'm going to add it in. And um, that's how you turn this into me. So when I click on it, I'm going to be able to see that. Pretty cool. Um, and that's finishing up this design. That's how it works.